Hello survivors and welcome to another Royal Revolt Warriors video. In today's video I wanted to show you guys the last character that is unlockable. It is the Beastmaster and the reason I want to show you is actually because of a Hildegard. It is one of my favorite weapons in the entire game. We're going to be playing on the Royal Forest. I would play Glacial Northland but it is more. This one's just to demo his evolution uh, where this one is quite a difficult map which we'll show you later on uh, we don't even have hard mode unlocked yet because i did some funny things but that's for another time so we're going to get into it it is the summon we all love summons and it does actually have an evolution so weirdly enough he doesn't have a passive um, but he does get an evolution on his skill and i thought we'd play it on the first map just to show you guys it is the easiest map so it will be really easy to get the evolution for the skill and there's also a build where we don't have to worry about leveling anything but i'm actually going to take the royal sword over here because i think we can get the evolution for it as well as i personally haven't seen them so i'm going to go and take a look quickly we're going to take a run to the the merchant at the top there which we need to get to see the evolutions and how to unlock them and we will be able to then see what it is that i need to take as passives i know what i need for the hildegard for the summon and i just need to find out what we need for the royal sword so we'll go and grab that and just make our way up there and start playing in that section of the map so that we can unlock it one thing they did change which i don't really understand is they decided to get rid of knowing where the chests are on the map so i mean it's not really that you need to know where they are it's kind of obvious whether or not you can find them power juice is necessary this is what you need to evolve the hildegard so we are going to grab that max hp which then makes sense to grab yourself the hp regeneration as well as uh, other things like that so there's hp regeneration it's not necessary for the build so we're going to level up uh, our hildegard first because we need that to level eight before we can evolve anything so it makes sense to level that up all the way i did also let the devs know and whether or not they actually do it is another story but i said to them it would be nice if the melee attacks were auto aim as well i don't know about you guys but i really don't like front facing attacks in games i don't like in the genre i don't see a point of it i'm going to take the boots and if we get kunai then that now nah, we'll go for the royal sword first we can do a triple evolution, but it's it's easier if we just focus on what we have in front of us first. I'd rather just level these up and we'll see. But it is possible for us to get a triple evolution. I just need to double check what the sword needs because I cannot remember it off the top of my head. And I think it has some really good evolutions as well. All right, so we'll grab the attack speed. All right, the demo has been out for quite some time. If you guys know, okay, we need the book or crit. So we can either go for crit or we can go for the book. That's really good. I haven't used either of them, so it will be quite interesting to see which one's which. I may have used the spectral sword, but I don't remember it, so we can easily do it again. And at least it's both really decent passives. So the one is XP gain and the other is a critical hit chance. So they both work really, really well together. And then if I wanted to do the kunai, then we are looking at grabbing ourselves the boots for that. And that is actually a really, really fun evolution to play with. So kunai's evolution, really, really cool. And now we just go to level up and get things going book would make a lot of sense here so if we do get it that would be make everything a lot easier because we get to level up faster so we are going to oh, there is book fantastic so at least it's in our uh, our art no, we do get a lot more xp gain so maybe rushing that to level four wouldn't be a bad idea although getting the evolution of the boar as quickly as possible would mean that we absolutely decimate the rest of the level as well so that could be a plan 
it really just depends what the RNG is like. We do have some rerolls, so we're actually going to do that. We did get the boar. Great. We can take a little bit of damage. Again, this is the easiest level. It's here just to demonstrate to you guys how strong the boar is when it evolves and what it looks like. It is just amazing. I've got to just I just gotta say that before it happens. Okay, I am going to grab the crit as well, so we have a choice between which evolution we want on the sword. Obviously, if you ever evolve it into one weapon, you can't evolve it into another as well. And you can only get the weapon once. So you have to make a decision. You have to decide, do you want it to do this or to do that? I will show you something when we speak to the, uh, the merchant. I guess I'll call him a merchant because he is kind of a merchant. He's sitting there with his... Uh, um, carpet down and he's waiting for us to speak to him which is you know typical merchant behavior so I'll call him a merchant it looks like we might go for the book upgrade because of the way that our evolutions are working right now or upgrade sorry but if we go to the description it tells us the sword that independently hunts down enemies extra melee attacks increase sword count so that's very interesting if we go and grab the increased melee attack and then this one causes chain lightning loses melee attack affinity projectiles add lightning bolts piercing adds bounces uh, i don't know where we get piercing from maybe there's a rune that we haven't unlocked just yet but so both of them are really cool the one works off of a lot of projectiles the other one works off of a lot of melee attacks so it could be very very good to level up both of them it just really depends on what our other passives land up being we did see the melee flask so we could have taken that but we never didn't actually know that was the case with the weapon but now that we know we can do that in the future all right what i do like about hildegard is when it attacks a boss it sticks to that boss until it is dead so it does not attack anything else in the area until its target is dead which is really good for taking down bosses which is exactly what just happened there so as you can see we were able to kill that guy really really quickly with very little effort we just kind of had to cart him a little bit because we would have taken too much damage otherwise but even at level four very strong very easy to use very difficult to get to this character although i think you just need to do certain things and you unlock him pretty quickly but definitely one of the strongest characters in the game. Doesn't need a passive to be super strong. Alright, getting the Mountain Brew would have been pretty good. But not necessary. It just helps deal with these guys. Also, something that you guys may not have known is you can actually pick up multiple of the same buff so if you are lucky enough to find a double uh, area of effect or magnifier then it will work that way it will actually do a double magnifier it won't just extend its duration or whatever the case is they do actually buff on top of each other so if you get two rampages it will be as if you actually have two rampages and it will be pretty insane and then if you land up being like super lucky and getting a rampage a magnifier just things get crazy it does need a lot of rng though so don't expect it to happen you know when you want it to or all the time or even at all okay we're gonna re-roll there we get it we got the hildegard which is great because that's what we need Get a little bit of healing from the cheese there. And this is the part where we should be able to use Hildegard to level quite a bit. Because we've got all of these guys over here. And it looks like they just get run over by our minion. I will grab the Royal Sword upgrade. I don't know which upgrade to go for. We'll see which one of those, if we get the prism first or if we get the, the secret tonic, or whatever they're called. Neither so far. 
I don't even have any other weapons, which isn't a bad thing. It just means we get to focus on what it is that we're trying to get. So sword is leveled now. Base damage gets increased. We need to just try and stay away from these guys. We can kill them as well. That's not a problem. Just like that. And then we don't have to dodge as many projectiles. There's a lot of XP sitting all over the place. And then we can either go attack area or attack speed. We'll grab the kunai for now. Like I mentioned, it would be cool to level them up or evolve them as well. Get a triple evolution. But this requires no nonsense kind of passive. So, I mean, if we don't get any other skills running or anything like that, like all of our levels land up on the stuff that we want, then we'll be able to evolve three things. But otherwise, it's actually quite difficult to do it in the time limit. And I don't believe there's... Oh, man, we got the melee one there. I mean, I guess we don't need it. It just helps with making whatever it is better. I don't know which one to go for. I'm very torn. I don't know if I should go lightning or if I should go for the melee one instead, the spectral sword. It's going to be very interesting to see. We will have to kill another boss regardless because I don't think we have enough of that. But we need one more level in our summon before we can get it leveled up or evolved. And that's going to be great because we won't we won't be able to I mean we won't have to move at all as soon as we evolve it it's just it's it's crazy can't wait to show you guys I think we still have one more reroll and the reroll seem to be really good at giving you what it is that you kind of leveling with so they they I don't know if they waited but it feels like they are. Okay, let's go. I think we do have enough for the evolution. So let's go evolve this. We do get a magnet, which is great. That is an extra level. And we get the occult rune there. We do get to evolve it. Perfect. So we actually have enough to evolve the light. Well, actually we don't because we do that. We now need two blue. I don't know if we'll get those. We could definitely get one red, one green. But uh, let's go and show you. So there we go. It evolved. It becomes many of the evolution. I mean, of the Hildegard. And now when we just, you know, we can stand still and absolutely everything's going to die. So it's really good to get this done as quickly as possible. Or at least this evolution. And the reason for that is actually because of how much XP you're going to gain now. So we're going to be able to kill so many enemies now. That uh, just, I mean, look at what it does to the boss. Absolutely shreds the boss. And we get two green, one red. And now we got a rampage as well. Oh my goodness, this is going to absolutely destroy everything. Now is when I want magnets. Because there is so much XP that we need to pick up. We do have the boots. I'm actually going to turn off the auto, I mean the manual aim, because we don't have to aim anymore. It's not like the sword's actually going to need to hit anything. And if you're playing on hard mode, I think this might be the key to success, to be honest. Using these uh, little guys to get you where you need to go. I think this evolution is definitely overtuned. Not that that's bad. We like to be powerful. And having it as an evolution... Uh, on the first map, it looks very, very strong. Uh, on the second map, it is equally as strong. The third map, it's very difficult to get to this part of the run. So what I mean by that is you can't actually just find the merchant straight away. You have to go through a whole process and you maybe get there three minutes before the end if you're lucky. And then you get your evolution. So you can't on the final map rely on the summons to to carry you like we do here where we got it within the first seven minutes of the run or whatever the case may be so just keep that in mind as well when you are playing some maps it might not be the best to use the evolution the skill is still amazing to use regardless of map because it's just free damage that you don't have to worry about aiming with but everything else it's it's quite dangerous I do on the final map, I managed to do it on the cultist, if you're ever wondering how you can beat it. 
but I think we will do that for the future because it's definitely there there's a lot of good things in this game and I think us getting into the harder difficulties will be really cool to show as well but there's a really nice boss fight on the the final map as well which we got to show you I think I need to farm a bit of more gold though to get there because I'm right now I'm not strong enough don't need to worry about the horde we just need to level up as much as possible okay it does look like we are going to get the well actually it's a, a level between each of them so it really just depends what the next level brings us as to what we evolve it as i haven't seen a prism although we are playing with projectiles technically using the kunai so that could help with the kunai as well if we get the prism i haven't seen it yet in the upgrade tree or if i did i just skipped it as a passive i mean not the tree so it's not like we got the option yet to get it but we'll see what happens nothing yet we can go for the golden compass I don't believe I, I didn't look if I had rerolls, otherwise I should have rerolled there instead of running anything else. Just so that we had that extra chance of getting the final passive. But like I mentioned, you can see just how easy the the game becomes when you're doing this. So if you want to farm gold, you just need to level up this and you can then get your compass i think there is something as well for gold drop no no it's not it's just duration but at least you can just run around you don't even have to worry about xp once you've got it you can get like if you're super lucky you can just get yourself to level 12 and then just run around and have the evolution and just farm yourself gold but i do know if you play on the harder difficulties you do get a lot more gold i believe someone showed a screenshot and they landed up with like seven thousand gold from that beating the the mode on hard so it really just does depend okay we don't have any more re-rolls which is unfortunate so we're wasting level ups over here which is really really bad Not the end of the world but we we literally just that one level away and I would like a magnet instead of a magnify if possible. I wonder if anything changes or affects the chances of the buffs that you can get from the chests. It would be nice if they introduced a relic or a meta progression like luck in the system. So you have a higher chance of receiving more gold or better food or getting boots something like more gold better food uh just just all the different things that you can use to kind of get you to the next level so there's prism i am going to go for the Abra the Aram wing uh, i would like to grab prism but there we go we do get the second evolution this should be for the lightning blade i haven't seen it personally so this is going to be pretty cool that would involve us actually hitting something as well oh that is actually really cool and it dealt a lot of damage and it wasn't a crit so if i can crit with this lightning blade then that means we can also do that challenge that requires us to have done a 60 hit crit uh that's if i get the chance to actually hit something 48 damage it's so close oh but wait that wasn't a crit from the sword i don't i'm not getting the chance to hit things <laughs> game can i hit anything oh man it's so close I, I really i'm not getting a chance to hit anything this is absolutely madness i don't i don't get the chance to hit anything Oh, there we go. We got the crit of 52 there. I think it was 50 that we needed the crit on for that one relic. But there we go, 52 damage. I hope it was 52 and not 60 because that's going to be very sad. 
but we are about to watch a boss get melted. Oh my goodness, we didn't even get the chance to get him to get close to us. Uh, level 37. I think we will get maybe enough levels for the next evolution. It's very possible. We do have level 3 boots, so we only need 6 more levels. And by the looks of things, it looks like we will be able to get there, especially with just how much XP is being dropped right now. Now, usually when you're playing this, you're thinking to, you, you, you're struggling, like you're in a corner being pushed into the corner and everything is on your face and about to kill you and it's a struggle. But now when we're busy playing, it's, there's nothing even near us. I don't have to worry about my life. I don't have to worry about anything. And that's because of the Hildegard. I mean, totally not the fact that we have a massive sword absolutely destroying everything. But we got a decent chunk of levels there. We also got a rampage over here, which is fantastic. And we picked up a magnet, which is very much what we needed. Okay. Oh. So look how crazy this becomes because it does stack. So we mentioned that it stacks. Look how mad it becomes. We get so much movement speed. Everything is just running mad. You can see we lost a bit of movement speed there because the one Rampage did lose out on its buff. So that was a really good example of showing you that the Rampage does work the way I said it does, that it does stack. And we were lucky enough to get it in, in the run. So that was really, really cool. Just need, man, why is it? It's so unfair. I didn't, I was just so unlucky there. We just needed that one level into our kunai so that we could evolve it, but we didn't get the level. I just need that one level and a magnet would probably get me that level. Okay, we did get another rampage. We still got a chance to get it. We are very close to the level. Okay, give... Nope. The game did not want me to level up the kunai. It's like we shall never give you a triple evolution. It is not allowed. Okay, we do get a magnet. Yes, we did level. We do get the kunai. 35 seconds left. We do... Ooh, look, Spiral... We've actually got what we need to evolve this too. But there we go. The Shredder. This makes it now that the Kunai bounce between the targets. It also bounces off walls. And that is just really, really cool. I really enjoy it. It was one of my favorite weapons as well to play with. And the evolution just made it even better. So really, really happy to show you guys how we got it. You know, what it looks like. Not how we got it. Because obviously you can see how we got it. But really, really, really fun really strong and just a blast to play with this i mean look how easy it's been and you're going to watch the final boss literally melt in seconds very very funny very very interesting there we go there he is and they haven't started attacking him there we go bam <laughs> destroyed in seconds okay we made 3000 gold we did get the crit there so we get this increased critical damage and knockback at a cost so I don't know what the cost is. The other one was like increased HP or whatever based on a cost as well. So we don't have that one. There is another trinket over here with level 60. But look at the damage of the evolution. It is absolutely bonkers. And this actually dealt a lot of damage for the amount that it hit as well. Because obviously having this did make it really difficult. So this is actually quite a cool little one to grab. And the kunai coming out uh, for the whole 47 seconds with 2k DPS is absolutely madness as well. 42 DPS per second. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And always remember, keep safe survivors. Until next time, cheers.